What's going on guys? Chris here, back with another Beetle update. So I'm going to be prepping the other side, getting it ready for some epoxy. I'm going to put a seam seal on all the edges and putting a top coat on the full thing. So I'll show you the progress and what I've been doing up to now. So there's the pan. I've just got it come from the garage roof. So I've gone over it all with 320, then Scotch Bright. I took all the sound ending off the middle, even though it was like tar. It's all keyed up. I've left the welds on the inside and took them fully flat because it's going to get sound ending in and seem sealed. You're not going to ever see it. Then the carpet and stuff as well. So that's the full pan. So the next time you see it, it should be an epoxy. They can finally get a top coat on this thing because that bottle is about to give it next. So stay tuned. So this is the epoxy I use. I've just shook off two minutes. So I'm going to give it a good stir anyway. And then I'm going to start mixing it up. That's the first coat of epoxy on. It's just a light misting really, just to make sure it bonds to the surface. I'm going to go heavy on my next coat. I'm going to put in two coats on as long as it's sealed. And say so these are top coat going on as well. Well that's the second coat on, it's gone on nice, it's been on about half an hour now, so I'm just going to wait for it to go a little bit longer, I can start seam sealing it, and I'm going to get it in um, 2k satin black. So this is the 2k I'm using, it's 2k satin black, and that's the hardener. And the ratio is just a 2 to 1 with 10% uh, thinners. And this little mutt is trying to come in at you. Well that's the first coat of the satin black on. It's come out nitro, it's got a nice finish to it. So this car is going to be a driver anyway, so I ain't going for showroom condition on the actual chassis itself. The bodywork will be, but the chassis will just be clean and tidy. But, all the factory, I don't know if they're factory dents in it and stuff, but I've left them and gone all out. Same with the welds, I didn't think I'd just seem sealed them over. Sound editing is going to go on anyway, and then carpet and this, so uh, no one's ever going to know. Well, back from you guys. And that's this side. I'm going to do one more coat on it. This was a thick coat actually, but I'm just going to put another one. Like as you can see, where it's been seam sealed. It's come out nicely really. And the same with the frame I've done. A lot of you was interested in this. But it seemed oh, really nice. But I'm just gonna wait for it to tack off. And I'm gonna add one more coat on it and let it dry. Well that's the second coat done now. It's been about 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna let it dry off there for a good hour or so. I'm gonna put it away and then next video next video you see I'll be bolting the parts back on it. Just give you a quick walk around. It's come out really nice really considering I've done it in my garage, I'm not a professional, I am learning. I've done bits of painting in before but nothing as to this standard. I'm happy with it. So underneath is stone chips and I've just put a top coat underneath so if I ever do a mark here, I can just quickly touch it back up. Well, that's the flat pan done now. So, thanks for watching anyway. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!